This time, the crystal book is still a mystery to me. Hmm. What did I write about it the day it happened? Ah. Today, Aaron discovered a remarkable old book in a secret chamber deep beneath King Nodgard's castle. At first, we couldn't get the book open, but then I noticed there was a space on the clasp in the shape of a crystal. I put a crystal into the space, and the book opened. But the writing is in a strange alphabet that we don't understand. If we can ever translate this, we might be able to solve the mystery of the crystals. Most mysterious. It may take a few more experiments to discover the uh, uh, power of the uh, sixth crystal. Aha! Hmm, most uh, interesting. Perhaps this is the uh, way to do it. Or possibly this. Hmm, how very peculiar. I'm prepared to spend days on end searching through untold amounts of uh, 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 things. I will struggle with this problem to the end. I will not uh, uh, rest. Mr. Gimmick, breakfast is ready. Yeah, but first, <laughs> A bit of a breakfast. <laughs> Finally, a chance to get closer. I know those guys are up to something, and I'm gonna find out what it is. I've made this special Ramonian huh? rhubarb pie for breakfast. I hope everybody likes it. Like it? <laughs> we haven't smelled anything so good since the harvest feast. Your hardest feet? Oh, yes, quite right. Learning what this crystal does is the uh, uh, hardest feat I've ever uh, attempted. What about translating the crystal book? Oh, yes, uh, that's quite a mystery, uh, too. May I see this strange book? We don't know what all the weird writing in here is supposed to mean. Hmm, that's funny. These letters, I've seen them somewhere before. Where, Mother? I'm, I'm not sure, but I know I've seen them. If only I could remember. And of course, we're gonna need a whole bunch of brides bounders and uh, shovers and a whole lot of guests. Uh, listen, Mara, uh, we was thinking. No, no, no. We already decided on a quiet wedding. Just the immediate family and a brass band. But, Ma, if Mrs. LB wants brass band. <laughs> What a dumb idea. Oompa! Oompa! I'll have you know that Buffy's father played voice tuba in the Grondo Bounding Band. Ten years in a row. Well, if you're having a brass band, the wedding's gonna have to be at your house. Our house? We want it at your house. Uh, but, Ma, uh, Mrs. L.B., we thought it'd be romantic to get married on the beach near Bounder Pass. <laughs> Terrible idea! Uh, it's today! I don't know. So impractical. Not a tort for anyone else but themselves. Jeez, I wonder if it's too late to elope. So you see, I know uh, uh, precisely how to figure out what this crystal uh, does. What do you plan to do, Gimmick? Uh, uh, well, uh, if I can uh, uh, isolate the uh, uh, bilateral frequencies of light as refracted by the uh, obtuse uh, surfaces... Oh, you mean you're just gonna mess around with it and hope that something happens? Uh, exactly. 
Would you like to come into town with me today, bro? Well, that sounds nice. What's on the agenda? Well, we need some new plates to replace the ones that broke, and maybe a tray to match... What is it, Mother? Teddy! Now I remember where I saw those strange letters. You do? The ones from the crystal book? Yes. Come with me. Now, now where did I put that thing? I say yes. And I say no. I insist. Absolutely not. Your whole family is a bunch of slobs. And yours is a bunch of stuffed shites. Founders don't even wear shirts. Shut, Shut up! up! Ah, there's nothing like a wedding to bring a family closer together. It's a beautiful, beautiful bound wedding. It's a day for all the bounder guys and gals. It's a special day in such a lovely setting. It's a day for having fun with all your pals. <laughs> We've waited long enough for all the presents and stuff. We'll be getting at this beautiful, 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 beautiful dancing for the wedding. Look at what she's wearing. Yeah, and it's lovely. An ugly dress for you to wear that's kind of old and full of holes. That's torn and tattered. A funny hat, a pair of spats, a silly vest, you look your best. As if it mattered. It's a beautiful, beautiful bounder wedding. It's a day for shopping from between your jaws. It's a day I know I'll never be forgetting. Oh, it's a day for being nice to mother-in-laws. And I can't wait to go and count the piles of dough. We'll be getting at this beautiful, 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 beautiful dancing around the wedding. We waited long enough for all the presents and stuff. They'll be getting at this beautiful, 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 beautiful dancing around the wedding. I know it's here somewhere. Ah, here we are. What's all that writing? It looks just like the writing in the uh, uh, crystal book. Grubby, may I have the crystal book? The writing looks the same, Teddy. What a discovery. This is an important uh, uh, clue about the ancient alphabet in the uh, book. It's more than a clue, gimmick. Gee, Teddy, the writing looks different. You can almost uh, read it. What? What does it say? Now witnesseth the sacred record of Wyma the Illiper, scribed to the court of King Philbin, the defender of the Illiper realm. Illipers? Well, what's an Illiper? I've told you about my friends Prince Aaron and Princess Arusia. They're Illipers. So are their parents, the king and queen. And the crystal book was written by an Illiper e e historian. <laughs> that explains why it was found at the e e castle. Keep reading, Teddy. Hear me while I tell of a golden age when all Grundo prospered, a time of great discovery and understanding. Hmm, my e grandfather used to speak of a time long ago when e anything was possible. Too bad we didn't go adventuring then, huh, Teddy? <laughs> right. Illipers lived in peace and harmony with their great neighbors in the hard to find city. In the hard to find city? But the Gatangs live there. I can't imagine them living in peace and harmony with anybody. Neither can I, but maybe they were friendlier then. Safe inside the hard-to-find city were its peaceful inhabitants. Well protected were they against the menace from the north, safe in the arms of the mighty Wall of Ying. Menace from the north? Gee, Ying hasn't changed much. Oh, I never heard such rubbish. Even LB makes more sense. A wall of ying doesn't have arms. <laughs> oh, what's this? A crystal? <laughs> Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Then, in the history of our people, came the greatest achievement of our time, 
the six crystals of Grundo, and those who gaze upon them should know this. Only the pure of spirit may find the treasure of knowledge therein. Meow! Well, that sounded like Tweed. Meow! It is Tweed. How come he's zooming around like that? And why is he here in Rilonia? Heavens to a Grundo, the sixth crystal, it's a, a gone. I didn't know Tweed could fly. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that a, a flying. It appears more like a, a, a runaway crystal to a, a me. A runaway crystal? Yes, Teddy. The citric acid in that a, a orange juice seems to have activated an anti-gravitational pull. At least that's my a, deduction. What are you guys talking about? The crystal. It has the power to make you fly. <laughs> Quickly, we have to catch him before he hurts himself. I'll prepare the uh, uh, airship. I'll get a net. Twig ain't gonna be an easy fish to catch. Do you see him yet? Not yet, gimmick. Look, hurry blows. Please, if you stop now, I'll give up my evil ways forever. I'll devote my life to charity. I'll even pay LB the money I owe him. <laughs> It's no use, Teddy. He's moving too fast for the uh, airship. We're never gonna catch him this way. Well, he's gotta come down sometime. Hard to see Tweeg anymore. That sun sure is bright. Hmm. I wonder what will happen when the uh, uh, orange juice on the crystal uh, evaporates. Hiya! How you doing? Ah, nice to see you. Love your dress. Have you lost weight? Gee, for me? Thanks. Let's do lunch. Friends of the bride? Cousin Larry? Long time no see. How they treating you in a Grundo jail? Eh, uh, can't complain. They let me come to your wedding. Uh, sorry, I didn't bring nothing. My finances are kind of tight. So, who's the lucky boundret? Ooh. Ah. Great cake, chef. A masterpiece. Just give me a second to set up and I'll record this moment for posterity. A little more to the left. All right, that's it. Crash my wedding, you were already invited. I was? Sure. I even sent you an invitation. Oh, well, B. Well, that's the very first time in my life anyone ever invited me to anything. So where's your present to the happy couple? My present? Um, uh, oh, well, uh, I, um, uh, I... Oh, mother. Twerk is too cheap to bring anything. Well, I am not cheap. Of course I brought a gift. And, um, uh, just a minute, Tim. Ah, ha, here it is. No, the workmanship, that's not imitation, you know. It's the real thing. Gee, Twink, a real box. <laughs> Thanks. It's not just a box, LB. It's filled with beautiful and rare shells I personally collected on the beach in Rolonia. It took at least ten minutes, but you're worth it. Oh, wow, man. I sure hope Tweed likes all that gold I put in his box, man. I wonder if he's looked in it yet, you know? Far out. Oh, wow. You can hear the ocean. Like it was a fair trade. These shells are totally gnarly. And I know how much Tweed digs gold, man. I only hope he's happy, man, when he discovers that I pulled the old switcheroo. <laughs> According to my uh, uh, calculations, Tweed must have landed in the middle of that uh, uh, crowd. In the middle of the cake is more like it. Everyone's covered in icing. What a waste. 
I knew we should have got here earlier. Let's go find the crystal. And then, as I was flying through the clouds, I said to myself, Tweeg, I said, this calls for a cool head. Weren't you frightened? Not a bit. <laughs> An evil genius like myself has no trouble dealing with a little thing like a, a mere runaway crystal. Bye. Uh, I've already forgotten what it looked like. Uh, did it look anything like uh, your hat? My hat? What are you talking about? I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> What's wrong, boss? Eek! Get this thing away from me! It almost killed me! Oh, it's no use, uh, uh, Teddy. There are too many people, and they're all covered in uh, icing. I'm afraid we'll never find that uh, 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 crystal. What were you saying, Gimmick? <laughs> As I was uh, saying... Uh, how nice it was of Twig to discover the uh, power of this magnificent crystal. <laughs> hey, be careful. Suppose it takes off with you. Oh, not possible, eh, Grubby. The orange juice evaporated until it comes in contact with more eh, eh, citric acid. Handling it will be quite eh, safe. I'll just put it in my belt to keep it even safer. Hey, looks like the wedding's about to begin. Yeah, there's still time to escape, LB. Why would I want to? Look at Buffy. I never saw a boundless so boundlessly beautiful. That it's this awful music it's giving me a migraine. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Nice of you to come. Now, we are gathered here today to bind these bounders in the bond of matrimony. You know, an occasion like this often brings to mind. Forget it, motor mouth. Can we just get on with the ceremony? Uh, um, uh, yes, well, why, of course. Uh, uh, go right ahead. Go ahead, Snookums. <laughs> Thanks, Buffy. I just want to say, <clears throat> Buffy, Buffy, soft and fluffy. Grundo thinks that I'm a toughie, but in my heart, I watch as more than any bounder did before. My life with you, I want to spend, because I loves you, and that's the end. <laughs> that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> er, uh, <laughs> I meant the uh, cupidest. Now, if you will kindly exchange rings, Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. He's the best bounder I ever saw. Yeah, you're right. Now, let's tear open these gifts. Hey, it's very attractive. Yuck. How tacky, uh, but thanks anyway, Mom. A suntan machine! Perfect! Now I won't get pale in rainy days. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's from the king and queen. Hey, thanks. That's very nice. You could have sprung for something a little classier. Uh, who's next? Oh, his present. This better be good, Twist. Weep. You shouldn't have. Nonsense, LB. Nothing's too good for you and your bounding bride, Buffy. Hey, you sure shelled out this time. Why not? You deserve a big box of seashells. But instead, you got us gold. That's right, I got you gold. Gold? 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 Gold! Gold! LB, you're not getting away with this! Give me back my gold, you ingrate! Oh, after all I've done for you! 
LB? Uh, yeah, Buff. Does he have to come along on a honeymoon? Uh, why not? He paid for it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>